right, what's up? I'm Dan from WQX. I'm here with the one and only Sarah Clark of Kimono Dragons, Charm Boy. What else? What else? Victory we... Soul Orchestra. Victory Soul Orchestra, and uh, one of my favorite bass players in Albany. Like some truly legendary tone comes out of uh, the amps, the bass, the woman herself. Uh, can you tell me first about the bass that you're playing today? Sure. This is a, a P bass. Um, it's new, but it's a reissue. Um, I got it maybe five or six years ago. It's like the first real bass that I ever bought. Um, actually, that's that's not true. I got my Rickenbacker first. Of course. This is the first <laughs> Fender bass that I bought that was like made in America, like really nice instrument. I love it. Um, it's really reliable. Um, love this tailpiece on it. That's really <laughs> nice. Thanks. It's good until you break a string. Oh you yeah, yeah. Then you gotta like, you gotta take it off. But yeah. Beautiful. And then uh, this this sun, it's really impossible to not notice this, especially when you're at a gig. <laughs> What's the specs on this guy? Um, so this is a early 70s sun. It's one of the last ones made with like all American parts, made in the Pacific Northwest. Um, it's, I mean, I probably owe my tone to, to this more than anything else. It's like the most wonderful thing I've ever purchased <laughs> in my <laughs> life. And I, I went up to Parkway Music and I was like, hey, do you guys ever get Sun Model T's in here, and they're like, we just got one in on consignment. I was like, no way. So I, I had a um, Fender, no, I had an Ampeg V4, and I traded it right away and got that, and it, I've been so happy with it. I love it. That's actually exactly <laughs> how I got me, my V4. It's not yours, but I, I hit up Frank Moskowitz and was like, yo, do you guys ever get V4s into Parkway? And he's mm -hmm. like, we just got one in. So I rushed up there and bought it immediately. That's super <laughs> funny. And then uh, what's up with the with, with your pedals here? What do you got okay. going on down the line? Um, this is a Ren & Cuff Fat Fuck based Romanian boost. Um, I use it like, it's it's a good thing to have um, on your board if you're not sure like how how much of a, how much you're gonna cut through. I don't use it all the time, but I like having it on my board. I didn't use it today. Um, this is the Katzenkunig by Catalan Bread. Um, inside it's like a combination between a rat and a uh, tone bender, and then this is an electro harmonics um, Pog. Um, I use this to kind of sound like a keyboard a little bit, um, and then this is the Faro, which is a fuzz pedal. Um, it's got a toggle, so you can switch between germanium and silicon. And uh, it's I've I've gone through a ton of fuzz pedals, and this one's my favorite. Nice. And then is this the the Cats and Koenig, Is that like a could it be a guitar pedal as well, or like? It's absolutely. You can do anything? Yeah. Um, Eric cool. and I actually each got each other the same pedal for Christmas <laughs> last year. It's like most importantly, it's got a cat on it. So. True. True, of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, beautiful. Well, thanks so much for telling us about your awesome rig here. And uh, yeah, listen to Komodo Dragon's new record, which thanks. is going to be out October 2nd or October 7th. 7th, yeah. And what's it called again? Swirl Dog, Swirl Dog and with Komodo Dragons. By Komodo Dragons. <laughs> All right, sweet. Thanks, Sarah.